too fast in my head. But I was right. There was 25 cards in the major arcane and 56 cards in the minor arcane. Cheops um, generated the 14 cards per suit, but it wasn't it wasn't balanced. You still couldn't get the pie aspect right. So if you were to take the, the Trinity away from uh, the major can of 25 cards, you would have um, 22 cards of our major arcane and 56 cards of the minor arcane. Okay, so this, it's still kind of, I am still have a little bit more explaining to do to show you how the tarot cards reveal why you are the way you are and why I am the way I am, and why we are the way we are. So now, we'll just get... Oh, yeah, here. Here's another part. Before we get rid of that, let's do some fancy measurements here. Okay? Now, 14 cards per unit. Now, if we're to divide the base... and Okay, the pyramid has four sides, right? Hearts, spades, diamonds, and clubs. These, these, each side of the pyramid represents one part of society, okay? And each part of the pyramid was divided 14 times to give equal influence for the working class, not royalty, but the working class. The people who had to go out there and build these pyramids because this one guy thought, hmm, I'm going to be godlike and live forever. Anyways, if we were to divide the base of the pyramid 14 times, it would come out to a measurement of 54 feet. This is called 54 feet. 54, that's a 9. Okay, now, the opening, yeah, the opening of the pyramid, the opening to Cheops' pyramid, which would be, oh, about there, this opening here, guess what? It's 54 feet above the plane of the, uh, the pyramid. Sweet, eh? Okay, so now we have a cube, 54 feet by 54 feet. But now, we're going to take it even further. If we divide the height of the pyramid by 54, it comes out to be 9. No, if we were to multiply the height of the pyramid times 54, it's 400 and 86 feet, approximately. But the first pyramid had a little bit chopped off. So it's it's for about 451 feet high right now. So there's about 36 feet missing. But they're calculating that the original height of the pyramid was 481 feet, where the original concept, as they were building it, was 486 feet. It was 54 feet by 54 feet. So you'd have nine sets of cubes going up, nine blocks. Now, uh, I'm allowing five feet for shrinkage. This is gravity. This is this is just, you know, this is just too much weight to bear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you follow my pun. Okay, now, um, that's interesting enough as it is, because the opening was 54 feet above the base, and you divide it, and it's so close to being a cube being 54 feet in our measurements. Um, this is like our, our heck of, Now, this is on 13. This is also unreal, because the base of this pyramid is on 13 acres, 13 square acres. I get way messy here, so I'll get rid of some of this stuff. Remember what we saw, um, the influence of the, um, the chef run in the design of the pyramids, remember, and it, and it created this one, the pyramid of chef run, because it only had 13 units per side, let's see, there we go, 13 units per side. <laughs> Women can do this a lot better, you know. Um, now, 
Here, 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 this is, this one's really cool. So, remember, we took off 120 degrees for the, um, for the, uh, major arcan, right? This is, this is the top of the major arcan, and this represents 120 degrees, 60 degrees for this section, and 60 degrees for this section. So it's 120 degrees. Now, if we were to take the remainder, okay, and make this part into a pyramid, it would look something like this. And I got my little sample right here. Okay. I'm not showing it to you. Not until I uh, get it down here. So, there. See? There's your 120 degree episode that we take. Now, we're, making, we're going to make this into a pyramid. As you see, I've made it, pre-cut it, and put it into a pyramid. This is so cool. This is what they call the greatest secret in the Sudan. Okay? Because, look at this. See that? Whoa. See what I'm saying? This makes the pyramids of the Sudan. And I don't know how come they don't investigate this even more so. Because I'm believing that royalty um, would be found more so in the Sudan than any other place. And maybe there's something inside these guys, but they're so... Maybe not. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I am not sure. But I thought that was so cool. Now, the... Um, the, the this, this aspect... This, this thing here uh, also brings me to uh, the, um, what do you call it, the tall, you know, ah, what is it, that um, monument, okay, this is the top of the, that's the sedan, okay, the monument, Washington Monument, that's what it is, is, guess what? It's 555 feet high. This was this was made on purpose, 555 feet, because 555 is supposed to be the number which represents man. Okay. Now, um, take and it's also 55 feet at the base. 55 feet and 555 feet high. So, if we multiply that by 12. This is what we get. We get 6,660 inches. Oh, there's 666. Hmm. Well, that's supposed to be the devil influence. And with this concept, Jesus was represented as the devil. Because he was changing a religious concept that was thousands of years old because of their sacrificial practicing. Okay? Now, we're going to go into that in a minute, too, in another session. But i got to check out my batteries and find out if I have enough um, uh, time left. So, uh, yeah, Jesus Christ, if you think about it, could have been seen as the devil of um, changing the religious practice of a belief that was thousands of years old. Well, good for him because nobody wants to, no, nobody wants a blood sacrifice anymore. Okay, we'll be back for another session.